What's up guys, it's Epsilon Gaming here, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a scoreboard plugin in this video. So let's get started and make it extends Java plugin and implements listener. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a listener on player join event so each player can have their own scoreboard with their own variables. So we can do our public void on enable. You can set lines with configs, but since you guys already know about configurations, I'm not going to waste the time in this video to do that. So we don't really need much on enable right now. We're going to have to register an event later, but we're good for now. So let's get started on our public void player join. Player join event E and open that. Now import player join event and let's continue. So first let's get the player. So player p equals e dot get player. Now since we're gonna want the scoreboard to update, we're gonna have to make a repeating task. So what this repeating task will do is it will just keep re adding the scoreboard every time it's repeated. I guess you could say. So, how I actually did it last time, I did it when a player did a command, it'll update the scoreboard, but we don't have to do it that way. This way might be a little easier. Well, this way would be a bit faster, depending on what you want to use the scoreboard for. If you did all the players at the same time, I tried that and it just causes a bunch of lag. So we're gonna have our own repeating tasks I have actually not done this, so I'm not completely sure if it will cause lag or not. I don't think it should, but it may. So if it does, comment that, and I'll show you guys another variable or, or alternative to do. So let's do bucket dot get server dot get scheduler dot schedule sync repeating task. And then it will be... Oh, we actually have to say static plugin plugin and plugin equals this. Import plugin bucket.org. Alright, so now we do main dot plugin comma bucket wait, what is it? Bucket runnable or it's new runnable. New runnable and open a new bracket that may not be right so let me check in a second but under that type public void run and I believe that is right alright so right here we're gonna actually have the amount of time it starts and then how often you want it to repeat it's in ticked so any seconds you want, you have to times it by 20, because 20 ticks are in a second. So say we wanted every 10 seconds to update the scoreboard, 20 times 10, although that'd be 200, that's every 10 seconds. So now we have to make the scoreboard. So let's type scoreboard manager manager equals bucket dot get scoreboard scoreboard manager. Now we're gonna have to import that and continue. So now scoreboard board equals. Now we're gonna call the manager. So manager dot get new scoreboard and close that. So import scoreboard and continue. Now we're gonna have to register the objectives, which means what it says on the side. So Let's do objective, objective equals board dot register new objective, register new objective, in quotes, test, comma, in quotes, dummy. Uh, I'm actually not completely sure why you have to use those. I think test, you can make whatever, but dummy means you can make your own lines. So save that, import that, and let's continue. So objective dot set display slot display slot dot sidebar 
and objective dot objective dot set set display name will be the name of the scoreboard I believe. So in this case, I believe it has to be shorter than 16 characters. So let's just do chat color dot red plus uh, epsilon mc and close that. Now that is the top of our scoreboard. So let's make two objectives or two new lines of the scoreboard. So score score equals objective dot get score. And then it's going to say offline player. What this means is it's looking for a player name, but you don't have to do that. You can make it any line you want. So it could basically say anything. So let's just say chat color dot, let's just say aqua plus, what did I do? Plus quotations player name. And then we'll do score dot get score or set score. And then let's just say 10, so it's at the top of the scoreboard. Now that we have that, the first line in the scoreboard will be player name. Actually, I believe you can put all this outside of the runnable so it does not lag as much. So let's put that out here. All right, so now the next line, we actually want to get the player name. So it would be score, score one equals objective dot get score. And then chat color dot gray plus p dot get name. And now that's actually a variable, so that'll change for any player that comes on. So score one dot set score nine. And then I guess we'll do like health just to demonstrate it once more. So score score three or score two equals objective dot sit get score chat color dot aqua plus health score two dot set score eight and score score three equals objective dot get score chat color dot gray plus hmm, p dot get health, which will be a double, so that may make it excessively long, so let's turn that into an integer, so it would be long equals, or long health equals math dot round p dot get health, and that will turn that to an integer, I believe that should work perfectly fine, so let's do string dot value of health <clears throat> and then we want to set score three set score seven so now we have the all four lines of the scoreboard so let's set it to the player so on the runnable it should be p dot set scoreboard and then board and what is an error because board is not final so we have to make p final and board final since it is in a runnable everything has to be final in there and now let's register the event so bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events this comma this and that should be all. I forgot add event handler. That would have been quite annoying trying to figure out the error and import event handler. And that should be good. I don't think we're forgetting anything. So let's go to the plugin.yml. I'm just going to copy it from over here since we it's all basically the same thing. New file plugin.yml name scoreboard version 1.0 me.jprint2013 dot scoreboards dot main and we don't need that and that can be scoreboard plugin 
Now let's export that to the desktop. New export. Next. Scoreboard. Not jar. Okay. And for some reason, I feel like I forgot something, but we can always go back in and check. But let's load that into our plugins. Start.command. And let's make sure it's working. Wait for this to load up. And it's already running on this port. So it's right here. So let's reload that. No errors. I don't see any. Uh, scoreboard right there. Loading scoreboard. So let's join the server and see if it works. And there you have it. Epsilon MC, player name J 13 health 16. Let's get injured, or at least try to, and see if the scoreboard will update. I don't really know how I'm going to get injured, so I guess we'll just drown or something. It may take a little bit of time, but it's alright. If you guys ever need a plugin coded that's a bit complicated and you don't know how to do it, I will definitely code it for you. I may charge a little bit in depending on the complexity of the plugin, but it may be worth it, may not be. Just let me know. I'll put my Skype in the description if you guys ever need any help. The scoreboard will update every 10 seconds, so I don't know why it didn't update yet. Health is not 16 anymore. You know what it is? I believe. Alright. <clears throat> so, what we did wrong, or what I did wrong, is I put this stuff outside of the runnable. I went back and edited this a bit. Instead of having nothing or some stuff in here, just put every scoreboard manager or scoreboard thing inside of here so every time it runs it'll make a new scoreboard and your health will update like it should be just to prove to you guys that it works my health is not at 14 anymore now we wait now it's at 16 all right so i'll cut out the part that i completely messed up on so you guys don't have to watch that but if you guys like the video please like comment subscribe and that is all peace out